Today, I'd like to take you through a demo CRM assessment. Today, we're gonna to look through a demo Redtail database. Uh, essentially, this is how we start all of our engagements. Basically, reviewing all of the data within your CRM uh, to give us an idea of the level of cleanup and organization that's going to be required to effectively implement a workflow and operational system within your CRM. It also helps us identify areas that are being maybe underutilized that we can help create systems to better manage. Um, we're going to go in a clockwise fashion here and start at, you know, just an overview of your practice. The AUM you manage bro bro broken down by client, um, by AUM by client. You can see here revenue by client based on, on these factors. One of the other things we like to look at uh, is a benchmark here. Uh, this comes from a Kitsis article that Joe and I really liked. I'll let him go into a little bit more detail on what exactly we're looking at here. Yeah, so when we do these assessments, we look at these three uh, KPIs, revenue per client, revenue per advisor, and revenue per employee. And we compare what the firm currently has to these benchmarks. And that helps us to determine if there are ways that we can help improve um, the, how the firm runs based on how many advisors they have and how many uh, staff they have. Awesome. Then we take a look at, you know, your team structure uh, and we build out a little uh, organizational chart here. And we also like to take a look at, uh, you know, these key points of revenue and how they are related to hiring. Again, a really awesome Kitsis podcast uh, that I'll let Joe dive into a little bit deeper here too. Yeah, so somewhat on the same vein, um, some firms are maybe have too many employees because their, their processes aren't very smooth and others may be under underutilizing uh, staff. And so they could hire a few more people to help things run more smoothly. So this talks about revenue points as the firm grows that may be a good idea to start looking to hire. So uh, this says every 250,000 revenue it's a good idea to hire an additional support staff and then every 500,000 um, an additional advisor. So it's an easy way to look at your AOM or look at your revenue and compare how many you, how many, uh, you currently have to these benchmarks um, and make decisions about hiring at those points. Awesome. Super interesting. Um, and now we get into the data uh, within your CRM. Looking at, you know, pulling information based on uh, clients' addresses, seeing, you know, clients by state. Uh, as we know, you know, when you've got five clients, uh, you know, living in a state, you must be registered in that state. So it's nice to be able to track that information and see perhaps <clears throat> clients that might be, you know, missing uh, an address. And we need to make sure that we have a system to obtain that information and then make sure we're maintaining it on a regular um, on a regular uh, basis to keep our database current. Same thing here, looking at clients added by year. This is something that comes up uh, from advisors a lot, wanting to be able to track new business over a period of time. Uh, and that is, is possible within your CRM as long as we label contacts accordingly. Again, just pointing out the importance of having consistent information, clean data within your within your CRM. Uh, one of the other things I like to track here, I think this is very interesting, is to be able to see your clients by age. Joe just recently did a demo with Bento Engine, uh, and I, I think this is just such a fabulous tool that we'd like to share a little bit more information with you here. So Bento Engine tracks the ages of the contacts in your CRM, and when certain important ages are coming up, it creates an activity to reach out to that person. Um, it also provides information, whether it's an email text or a PDF or um, other content that will help you as you reach out to the client and give you information that you can share with them about this important milestone. Amazing. Uh, next couple of things I wanted to point out here, again, all have to do with data. So this gives us an overview of a practice that's underutilizing uh, their activities and workflows and gives us, you know, an, an indicator that we need to spend some time creating a task management uh, and workflow 
process to help this team, you know, really capitalize on those two features within their CRM. Uh, this, you know, activities do ties into that task management process, making sure that we're not running with a bunch of past due activities. It's a really great way to drop balls. And, you know, th this team is not utilizing that feature as well as they could. Um, and it is very helpful, you know, to us to point out an area that they could use a little bit more coaching. Same thing for the upcoming reviews here. We like to look at whether or not teams have a formal system for managing a proactive client experience. Uh, so this is one of the fields that we like to look at uh, to collaborate with a team and create a process to deliver their desired client experience. Uh, having a sales pipeline in your CRM is also very helpful. You know, this example, you can see the, uh, the opportunities in their database, uh, you know, whether they've been won or lost and see kind of where they're at in their sales pipeline. But we always like to uh, encourage teams to keep a record of their sales pipeline, you know, within their operational CRM hub, if you will, um, to show, you know, who's in the pipeline and where we're at in the process. Again, this is another field within um, the CRM that we find very helpful. It's a question that comes up again from a lot of advisors to be able to see where new clients come from and identify who their top referral sources are. So capturing that information and make, making sure that it's maintained on a regular basis to make running reports like this possible. And then the last you know, chart that you can see here just provides us with an overview of where we might be lacking or where there's some areas for improvement in terms of, you know, consistent data here. We want to make sure that contacts, you know, are, are labeled with categories, that there's not contacts in your database that are not, you know, that are in there is not specified. This really points out to us that we need to do a better job, you know, collecting the data and making sure that it's maintained on a regular basis so that we can get accurate reportings based on the contents and the data within your CRM. So looking at this as kind of an overview, you know, we firmly believe that your CRM should be the hub of your practice. Um, and, and here are some examples of things that become possible if you have a well-organized hub. It, it makes finding, you know, information possible. It makes, you know, seeing what you're working on, what your team's working on, managing and, and measuring bandwidth and seeing what you have, uh, you know, action item by action item for your clients. Um, having a centralized calendar uh, to see what's going on week over week and being able to keep a log and a historical timeline of meetings that you have with clients. And then we talked about sales pipeline, being able to keep a record of, of your sales pipeline pipeline and prospects and where they're at in your new client onboarding process, being able to see your client's accounts uh, and having a, a streamlined way of, uh, of, of seeing that information within your hub. And then, you know, lastly, and, and something that is so helpful is being able to run accurate reports based on the information that you have within your CRM. All of this becomes possible when you take the time to create a well-organized foundation. I want to parlay this uh, into some additional spokes that come off of your hub in terms of your advisor tech. And I'm going to turn this over to Joe as he's our tech specialist and have him give you an overview of what we're looking at here. Yeah, so we love the new uh, advisor tech tool that Kitsis has published on his website um, and use it to kind of pull together the different uh, advisor tech that firms are using to run their business and point out ways where maybe we could add additional tech or increase the, um, the integrations between the tech. This is really awesome to look at as a glance. Thank you for putting this together. Uh, and so there you have it. Here is, is an overview of what is possible by having clean, consistent data within your CRM. 